What's going on YouTube? Corey Walker here, owner and lead software engineer for Rocket Tech Solutions. Today I'm going to go over two of the most popular cloud-based CI CD providers, Travis CI and Circle CI. I'll go over a few of the major details of each one and then list out some pros and cons of each one when compared to the other provider. That way you can be more confident that you're choosing the right platform for your specific needs. Before we get started though, I'm just going to take a minute and ask you that if you like this video and you find it useful, please hit that like button. And if you would like to see more videos like this, such as technology tutorials, please hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get to it. All right, so first off, Travis EI. Travis CI has been around since 2011. Pretty trusted framework. They are free for public repositories forever. For projects with private repos, they have these different plans that you see here, um, starting at $69 a month for one concurrent job, and then you pay more per month for each additional concurrent job. They support many different languages, pretty much any language that's really popular or even Semi-popular, they've got it covered. For Travis CI and Circle CI, they both just use configuration files you put in the repo. And once you push it to your remote repo, any additional pushes to the repo automatically trigger builds on that platform. So those are both pretty much the same there. Circle CI is also founded in 2011, so they both were founded right around the same time. They don't have any kind of plans for unlimited builds. They do have a free plan. They are actually ran on what are called credits, and we'll talk about that in a second. They have a free plan for, even for private repos, they do have a free plan, so um, you do have an option for actually having a CI CD cloud provider with private repos and not have to pay anything for it. Um, so if you got a kind of a project that doesn't really have a lot of changes going through it all the time, this would be a great option. Pricing here starts at $30 per month. That includes your first three users and 25,000 credits. Each additional 25,000 credits is another $15. Add more credits to your account. Credits used based on what OS and image size you're using for your build. The, the larger images use more credits and Windows and Mac OS VMs and GPU builds use more credits per minute. You can go through those credits pretty quick and they don't have any unlimited builds on here. So that's one thing you gotta be careful of. Both of them do have self-hosted options that you can just provide on your own infrastructure. If you wish, they both have that option, Circle CI, uh, does have support for pretty much all of those popular languages as well. It doesn't seem like they have as m quite as many languages supported out of the box as Travis, but pretty much all the same popular ones that are heavily, heavily used are both covered by both. Pros and cons of each, Travis CI pros. Unlimited builds for each paid plan. More languages supported by default. And one thing unique to Travis CI that I'll show you here and I'll link to in the description below is called Build Matrix. It allows you to test against multiple language versions, library versions uh, in parallel um, all at different times or all at the same time. So very, very unique and cool feature that Travis CI has. Travis CI cons, a higher price for their lowest paid plan, $69 here versus $30 for Circle CI. Travis CI, of course, no completely free account for projects with private repos. You only get your first 100 build free and then nothing after that. Uh, you have to use either open source or pay for a paid plan. Um, no concurrent builds with the lowest uh, paid plan, only one concurrent job. That's another con for Travis CI. As far as Circle CI Pros, you do have a completely free account, even for private repos, although limited build time. Cheaper starting point for their paid plan, only $30 here, um, which includes three users and 25,000 credits. Um, however, of course, Travis CI, you get unlimited users. And then for another Circle CI Pro is that you can automatically have multiple concurrent builds by just using auto scale capacity, but that just does use up your credits even faster with each concurrent build that you start. Uh, Circle CI cons, paid plans are based on credits. So Circle CI, you do not have any kind of paid plan where you have unlimited build minutes as you do with Travis CI. And another thing with Circle CI is that you have to kind of calculate 
your usage based on what OS and image size you're using in order to get a feel for how much you have to spend. So you could end up spending more for Circle CI than you do for Travis CI since Travis CI does not price based on the image that you use. So the conclusion, the best platform for you depends on your use case. But if you are using only open source project repos, then either one will probably work just as well for you because they're both free. Um, if you're building projects that mostly have private repositories that are heavily utilizing Windows or Mac VMs, then Travis CI would be cheaper because all those images are not priced higher than normal limit Linux images. So Travis CI would probably be cheaper in the long run, most likely. But if you have projects that are not updated very frequently and can be built on Linux, or if you can just have projects that can utilize Linux all the time in a Docker image, and Circle CI could possibly be cheaper. Uh, the other thing to consider is the language that you're using. You know, Travis CI does have just a few more uh, supported languages out of the box than Circle CI, but um, if you're using one more popular language and frameworks, both of them are going to have your language. But just want to make sure that yours is included in the one supported by the platform that you choose because you do not want to have to try to roll with your own. All right, so please let me know in the comments if you have any other additional comparisons you want to see as far as other CI CD providers or anything of the like. Please leave it in the comment section below. And if you do like this video and you learned something from it that could help you, please hit the like button. And also, if you'd like to see more videos like this as far as programming or technology tutorials, please hit that subscribe button so you get notified whenever I make and release a new video. All right, we'll see you next time.